how are you, Dennis? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Next one, we have Constantino. How are you doing, Constantino? Uh, good evening. Uh, I am fine. I'm okay. Yep. Good and to you? know. Well, I'm good. Good, good, good. And we have Nancy. Good evening, Nancy. How are you? Good evening, everybody. I'm very good, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And we also have, let's see, Ruben. Good evening, Ruben. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. Okay, good. And we have Melvin. Melvin is joining right now. Good evening, Melvin. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. We also have Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I am fine. And you? How are I'm you? Good, 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 good. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I guess your guys are joining later. Uh, we are going to start right now. And before starting, I need to see if you still remember something that we started last week. So let's see, Edwin Sosa. Edwin, how often do you check emails? How often do you check emails? I, I sometimes check my email. Okay, sometimes, good. So he said, I sometimes check my emails, good. Next one, David, how often do you fix cars? How often do you fix cars? Fix, uh, I occasionally fix my car. Good, occasionally. Occasionally, occasionally. Good, Constantino. How often do you have inventory at work? Um, I seldom <clears throat> have inventory at work. Okay, good. Nancy, how often do you have a meeting at work? <clears throat> I sometimes have a meeting at work. Good. Let's see, Cecilia. Cecilia, how often do you type letters at work? How often do you type letters? I don't type letters. Okay, good. Next one, uh, we have Jennifer. Good evening, Jennifer. Jennifer, how often Very do late. you how often do you arrive late to work? I I never late at work. I never late arrive. I never try late Arri arrive. 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 Late, late at work. Good. So I never arrive late at work or I never arrive late to work. So you will see on the screen right now uh, how the verb arrive is spelled. So that's a verb, arrive. Ah, okay, arrive. arrive. Okay, good. Let's see next person, Adolfo. How often do you, um, how often do you have a conference at work? How often do you have a conference? Well, I seldom conference at work. <laughs> I I seldom. Seldom. I assist in assist in at, at conference at work. Hmm. I seldom attends. Attend conference. Attend, at, attend a a conference at home. Work. At home. At work. At work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Next one. Um. Who's missing? Melvin. How often do you use your computer at work? I usually use 
computer. Good, 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 good. Oscar, how often do you buy computers? How often do you buy computers? I rarely buy computers. Okay, good. To, to buy computer, really? No, no, I no. rarely buy. I rarely buy computer. Yes, I rarely buy computers. Good. Ruben, how often do you, um, how often do you have parties at work? Celebrations, I, parties. I hardly ever uh, have party at work. Okay, good. So all those things that you're expressing, you are telling me the frequency that you have for each action. So I'm going to show you just for you to review um, just the way they use them. And here we were saying that you say 100% uh, of the times that you do the activities, you say always. So for example, I always get up at five o'clock. So always means all the time. Then we have usually, when you say usually is 90%. So you can say, I usually drink coffee or he usually drives to work. So when you say uh, he, she or it, you have to remember that you need to use the S in the verb. So this was a very common mistake that you had in the, the exercises that you sent to Schoology you forgot to use the S in the verb. So when you say a farmer, and then the verb has to be with the S. Or a chef cooks, needs the S because you are talking about a person. So it could be a boy or a girl. So you say a farmer checks, um, chef works, and like that. So you always use the S in the verb. Same thing over here, he usually drives to work. Next one, using normally. Normally is like 80% of the time. So you say, uh, she normally checks her email or I normally go to work often or often. You can say, I often eat my dinner at 6.30 p.m. Or you can say, if it is another person, let's say that is Constantino, you're going to say Constantino often has breakfast at work. Now, if it is sometimes, when it is sometimes you're saying like 50% of the times, not all the time, but sometimes, maybe one day, yes, the other way, no. So you go every other day. Now, occasionally is like 30%. So you can say something like, I occasionally work over time. And if it is Dennis, I'm going to say Dennis occasionally works over time. So you have to use the S again. Next one, seldom. When you say seldom, it's similar to say rarely. It means that it's not very often. So you say, we seldom take calls at work. But if I say Nancy, I'm going to say Nancy seldom takes calls at work. Now, if it is hardly ever, I hardly ever drink coffee. If it is Jennifer, Jennifer hardly ever drinks coffee. So you need to use the S. So whenever you talk about another person, use the S. Now, the last one, never. I never, uh, let's see. I never smoke, so I never smoke. If it is Ruben, I'm going to say Ruben never smokes with the S. Now, something that is important to know is that when you say hardly ever and never, and you say also seldom, that is something negative. So it's not necessary to say, I don't never get late. Don't never is not possible. Why? Because never is negative and don't is negative too. So if you're saying never negative and don't negative, you have double negation. 
and that is impossible. So you need to use only never. I never get late to work. Same thing for hardly ever. He hardly ever has, but you don't need to say he doesn't hardly ever have. Mm -mm. You only say the, the frequency. Obviously, seldom is negative. Hardly ever is negative. Rarely is negative. Never is negative. You don't need to say don't or doesn't. Why? Because they are negative. When you say sometimes, occasionally, often, normally, usually, and always, they are positive. But seldom, hardly ever, a never, almost never is another expression that you can use for hardly ever, almost never. So those expressions are negative. So you don't need to use don't or doesn't, yes? So that's something important that you have to remember. Now, let's see something over here. Constantino, uh, can you ask, let's see, Dennis, a question using how often, and then Dennis has to answer with his own information. Uh, Dennis, do you uh, do you take uh, a question with uh, how often? Ah, how often? Uh, then how often do you drink uh, coffee? I always, I always drink coffee. Yes, I always drink coffee. Uh, okay. Now, Dennis, can you ask Nancy? Uh, uh, Nancy, how, how often do you check your, your email? Email. 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 Yes. I always check my email. Good. Now, Nancy, can you ask Melvin? Um, Melvin, how often do you study English? <laughs> Good I, question. I normally study English. Okay, I normally study English. Melvin, can you ask Jennifer? Um, how often do you arrive early at work? Arrive. Arrive. At work. I never arrive late to work. No, but he's asking you early. Early. Ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Sorry. I I always arrive early to work. Okay. Good. Now, Jennifer, can you ask David, please? Um how often do you go to the gym? Mm -hmm. I seldom go to the gym. Good. Now, Dennis, ask Oscar. David? Okay, okay, sorry. How often, how often do you eat before work? Yes. Always eat uh, before work. Can you repeat it, Oscar? I always, always eat before work. Okay, always. Good. Always. Good. Now, Oscar, can you ask Felix, please? Felix, uh, often, how often do you walk the park? I never uh, go to the park. Go to the park. Go to the park. I never Good. go. I never go to the park. Good. Now, Felix, can you ask Ruben? Ruben. 
Yeah. How often do you drive, go to the car wash? How often do you go? How often do you go drive the car in the car wash? Hmm. How often do you go to the car wash? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. I sometimes go to the car wash. Good. Now, can you ask Edwin? Edwin, how often do you do your your food? Uh, how often do you? Do you do your food? How often do you do your food? It has to be how often do you make your food or how often do you cook? Yeah. Okay. How often do you cook your food? I occasionally uh, make my cook. My food or I my occasionally food. cook. I occasionally cook. Okay. Can you ask... Cecilia, Edwin? Cecilia, how often do you play basketball? I seldom play basketball. Good. Now, Cecilia, can you ask Hugo, please? How often do you play? In your cell phone? Mm, I occasionally play with my cell phone. Okay, I occasionally play on my cell phone. On my cell phone. Good. Oh, okay. For electronics, you're going to say on, on my computer, on my cell phone, on internet. And like that, on YouTube, on TV, and like that. Good. Now, Hugo, can you ask Adolfo? Uh, how often do you uh, go to the market? I normally go to the market. Good. Now, Adolfo, can you ask Dennis? Dennis, how often do you speak English English with your friends? Good. I I never speak English uh, with my friends. Okay, I always speak English with my friends. Good. So these are. Uh, the different adverbs that you can use to express frequency, you can say always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. You can also have expressions like almost never. You can also say almost always, and those are acceptable too. Now, Felix, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, explain the difference in on, only computer, only uh, uh, cell phone. What the different uh, practice uh, physical? Uh, what the different uh, pronunciation or, or pronunciation correct? Correct pronunciation. Correct pronunciation. <laughs> It's oh. not about it's not about pronunciation. The thing is that you have two different prepositions. You have the oh. preposition on and you have the preposition in. But when you say in, uh, it means inside. And you're going to use on for different situations. For example, when you travel and let's say that you travel to work and you take the bus, you get on the bus. 
You are on the bus. You are not in the bus. You are on the bus. But when you drive your car, you are in the car. And why do you say in the car, but you say on the bus if you are inside? Well, the reason is because you're going to use on for all transportation where you can walk. So you're going to use on for all transportations where you can walk. So that is the rule or the tip. You can use on for all transportation where you can walk. For example, Oscar, you will tell me if it is in or on. If I say airplane, do you say I am in an airplane or I am on an airplane? Um, in, in an airplane. It is on an airplane because you can walk. On an, if you okay. have a transportation, if you have a transportation and you can walk, you have to say on. If you all, cannot all walk. Transportation. In all, all transportations that you can use and that you can walk, you can say on. And you will say in for transportation where you cannot walk. Let's see, Ruben. If you say boat, boat, do you say in a boat or on a boat? In a boat. You say in a boat because mm -hmm. the boat is little. So you cannot walk over there. Yes? Now, let's see, Jennifer, do you say in a train or on a train? In a train? No, because you can walk. Can you walk in a train? Can you walk? No. Can you walk? Walk means caminar. Can you walk if you are using this transportation like, like a train? No. Really? No se puede caminar en un tren? No se puede caminar en ese transporte? No hay espacio para caminar? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so if you have space to walk, if you can walk, you say on, yes? So in that case, you have to say on a train, on a train. And this is only about transportation because if we talk about technology, it has to be on, on my cell phone. I have a lot of applications on my cell phone. I play on my cell phone. Uh, there are many series on TV on TV, but related to technology, you say on. And if I tell you the difference between in and on, only today, we are going to take a long time because we have four transportation. We have four days, months, years. For example, four months, if you only have the month, you're going to say in in April, in May, in June, in July, in August, because you, you don't have a date in specific. But if you say September 15th, that is specific date. So you will say on September 15th. If you only say September, in September. If you have the date on September 15th. If you have a day on Monday, 15th, and like that. So you say on. When you have a day, the specific day, you say on. If you don't have a specific day, you have to say in, like in May, in June, in August, in September. Solo están mencionando los meses, no un día o fecha en específico. But if you mention the date, Date, fecha, you have to use on. On March 26, on September 15, on May 10th. So you mentioned on. For the years, 
If you only have the year, you have to say in, in 2002, in 2020, in 1986, in uh, 1995, and like that. So you use uh, in for the years. If you have a date and you have the year, you're not going to say in, you're going to say on. For example, um, El Salvador had, um, I don't know, an important event on March 26, 2001. So you say on March 26, 2001 because you have a specific date. So that is about dates. But later, you can have about places. So you say in, I am in my house because I am inside my house. But this is for location, location. Location means ubicación, donde esta? Yes, I am in my house, inside my house. You can say I am in a classroom in a classroom because you have walls. It is a closed place, yes? But you're going to use on if you want to specify that you are on something. For example, I am on the table. If I say that I am on the table, it means that I am sitting on the table. Or my cell phone, my cell phone is on the table. Sobre la mesa. In that case, the meaning is different, yes? And we can continue talking about more and more differences between in and on. There are many, but you go little by little. So right now, just try to memorize. Technology, you say on. Websites, you say on. On uh, Google, on Instagram, on Facebook. You don't say in Facebook, you say on Facebook. So for technology, websites, and all those things, you have to use on, yes? The other about transportation, you can memorize it too. When you walk, if you can walk, you say on. If you cannot walk, you say in. And then the rest, little by little, you will be learning, yes? Felix? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so as we were saying, we have uh, different adverbs that you're going to use in order to express the frequency. Now, I'm going to choose someone and this person is going to tell me an activity that he or she always does, an activity that he or she often does, an activity that he or she sometimes does, an activity that he or she hardly ever does, and an activity that he or she never does. So let's start with Hugo. Hugo, what is something that you always do? Something that you always do? Uh, I always uh, make my dinner. Good, 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 good. Edwin, what is something that you often do? I often make drawings. I often make? Drawings. Drawings. Okay. Yes. Good. Oscar, what's something that you sometimes do? I sometimes uh, watch Netflix. Okay. Good. Ruben, what's something that you never do? I never wear uh, pink clothes. I never wear pink cloth. Sink or what? Silk pink. or pink color pink. Oh, pink clothes. I heard thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why not, Ruben? I don't like for me. Okay. You don't like it. No. Good. Good. What about Nancy? What's something that you always do, Nancy? I sometimes visit my grandparents. Good. Constantino, what's something that you often do?
Constantino. Excuse me. I sometimes uh, often. Ah, often. Uh, I often work uh, over time. Okay, good. Next one. Jennifer, what's something that you sometimes do? I sometimes drink coffee. Okay, I sometimes drink coffee. Next one. Uh, Cecilia, what's something that you hardly ever do? I uh, hardly ever dance. Okay, good. Now, let's see who's missing. Dennis, Dennis, what's something that you hardly ever do? I hardly, I beer. I hardly ever? Beer. In the I hardly beer? ever beer in the beer. No, if you say I hardly ever beer, you are saying yo casi nunca cerveza. Ah. Uh, I hardly, ever, I hardly ever drink beer. Perfect. I hardly ever drink beers. Adolfo, what's something that you never do? I never go to sleep early. Okay. I never go to sleep early or I never go to bed early. Good. Now, Felix, what's something that you never do? I sometimes clean the garden. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this is the way that you express frequency. Now, you're going to watch a video, and on this video, you're going to see uh, how people are expressing frequency uh, using this, and this guy is going to give you more information about using frequency adverbs. So you're going to see it in a second. Okay, can you see it, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I don't listen. So usually 
means like most of the time, okay? Usually 90% of the time I do this, okay? I always pay my rent. I usually get up at 7.30. Often, just below usually, I often read before bed, okay? So again, often probably more than 50%, more than 50% of the time you read before bed. Sometimes means some of the time. So sometimes probably 30%, 40% of the time, I sometimes visit my mother. You should visit your mother often, probably, if you want to be a good son or a good daughter. And never means none of the time, none of the time, zero percent, okay? So I never go to expensive restaurants. Okay, so once again, these are some of the most common adverbs of frequency. And what these words do is tell someone how often you do something. Okay, so again, always 100% of the time. I always wake up at six o'clock to go to school. I always have lunch at 12 o'clock. Usually, most of the time, 90% of the time, I usually get up at 7.30. I usually see my friends on the weekend. I often read before bed, just a little bit under usually. So over 50%, maybe 60% of the time, I often read before bed. Sometimes, some of the time, below 50%. I sometimes visit my mother. I sometimes get an oil change for my car. You should get it every 5,000 kilometers, but anyway. And I never go to expensive restaurants 0% of the time, okay? So again, never, never, none of the time, sometimes, some of the time, often, not most of the time, just below most of the time, a lot of the time, usually, most of the time, always, all of the time. If you'd like to do a quiz on these words and adverbs of frequency, you can check out engvid.com. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching and take care. So that was a video. That was a video and over there you had the explanation how to use the frequency average. So you have always, usually, sometimes, often, hardly ever, and never. Now, I told you to use your computer today because you have an activity and you're going to work in small groups. So right now you are 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 and two people ask for permission. And let's see, was Christian, Christian, Caesar, and there is another person. Okay, but Caesar is joining later. So what are you going to do? I'm going to show you the file that you're going to be completing and this is about frequency adverbs. So here you have the chart. And what you have to do is to describe every activity that each person is doing. And here we are talking about chores. Chores are activities. Or, um, yes, activities that you have to complete at home activities that you have to complete at work. So you have different chores. Here it is called household chores. It means activities at home or in your house. You have to use the frequency and you have to use those expressions that you have over there. Let's see the meaning of the words and expressions that you have over there. Number one, Constantino, can you read the number one that is over here on the left? 
Number uh, one. Okay. Uh, do, does the furniture. Okay. Dust the furniture. When you say dust, it means to eliminate the dust of all furniture. Furniture are all the things that you have in your house, like the sofas, like tables, like, I don't know, little couch, uh, pillows, beds, all the things that you have in your house, they are furniture. Sometimes they are made of uh, wood or sometimes they are made of metal, but mainly they are made, they are made of uh, wood. So when you say furniture refers to um, all things, sofa, tables, chairs, and the rest. So dust, like clean, but eliminating the dust, like sacudir, yes? Uh, number two, Nancy. Take out the rubbish. Good. Take out the rubbish means take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. The garbage is all the things that you don't use. You put them into a bag and then you take them out. Yes. You wait for the truck. So that is take out the rubbish or the garbage. Next one, Melvin. Uh, iron the clothes. Good. So when you iron the clothes, it means that you're going to take the iron. The iron is the machine that you use. So you iron your clothes, all your clothes. You're going to iron them. Yes, with energy. Next one. Uh, let's see. Felix. Make the bed. Good. When you make the bed, you are putting the things in order. Yes, you make the bed. It's not that you create it. No, you're not going to create the bed. But you're going to put the bed in order. Yes, because after you wake up, it is a mess, a disorder. So you have to make the bed. You have to put the things in order. Next one, uh, Mel, no, Manuel. Manuel? Mop the floor. Good, mop the floor. Mop means, what is mop? Mop is? Trapear, so Trapear, you mop the trapeador. floor. Good. Good, you mop the floor. Next one, Adolfo. Where are the plants? Water. Water the plants. Water the plants. Good. So in this, yes. In this case, water means regar. Water the plants. Water is the liquid that you drink, but water is a verb. You can use it as a verb. And the meaning is that you throw water to plants. So you water the plants. Next one. Um, Hugo. Do the shopping. Good. So if you do the shopping, that means that you have to go to the supermarket or to the market and you buy the things. You do the shopping. Next one, Ruben. Sweep the floor. Okay, sweep the floor. Do you know the meaning of sweep? Uh, barrer. Exactly, you sweep the floor and then you mop the floor. Next one, David. Walk the dog. Walk. Walk. Walk so, the dog. If you walk the dog, that means that you're going to take your dog and you're going to go to the park. So you walk 
your dog. You walk the dog. Next one, Edwin. Vacuum. Vacuum the floor. The floor. Okay. So what's the meaning of vac vacuum, guys? Aspirar. 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 Exactly. You vacuum the floor. Next one. Uh, let's see, Constantino. Set the table. Good. So when you set the table, it means that you put the table in order. Everything in order, the dishes, the cups that you're going to use, so everything is ready. So that is set the table. Next one, Jennifer. Do the washing. Yes, do the washing or do the laundry. Do the laundry means that you wash your clothes. You're going to see it right now. We send it to you so that you can see it on the screen. Um, do the laundry. Oops. Okay, so there you have, do the laundry. So that's similar to say that you uh you do the 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 washing i wrote it over here but it's just do the laundry set the table do the washing or do the laundry clean the windows clean the windows as you know when they are super dirty you have to clean them and the last one make dinner like someone else said over here i make dinner every day or I always make dinner. Now you also have some expressions. Cecilia, number one. In the morning. Yes, in the morning. Next one, Oscar. In the afternoon. 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 Okay, afternoon, afternoon. Next one, Melvin. In the evening. In the evening, evening. Only two sounds, evening, evening. Evening. Can you repeat it? Evening. No, the whole sentence. In the evening. Good. In the evening. Next one. Uh, Nancy. I'm sorry, teacher. Could you repeat this? Next one. What is the next one? Uh, after in the evening. After in the evening. No. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, I'm Dennis. sorry, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, Dennis, after in the evening? At, at night or Monday. Okay, good. So you can say at night. So you say in the morning, and the pronunciation is the, in the morning. But when you have a vowel, you need to say in the afternoon, in the, not the, because you have a vowel. Si tienen una vocal a la parte de the, se va a pronunciar the. Si tienen una consonante, se pronuncia the. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. So you cannot say in the night, you have to say at night. In the evening, at night. Now, if you have days, if you have days, you have uh, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, and here, this is not correct. This is when I was typing. On Wednesday, and 
So it would say on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays, on Fridays, on Saturdays, on weekends. So when you mention days, you need to say on, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and the rest. Now, before starting the activity, I need to know if you really know the days of the week. So let's start one by one. Felix, what is the first day of the week? Uh, first, uh, first chart. No, the first day of the week. What is the first day of the week? Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday is the first day. Second day, David. What is the second day of the week? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Manuel, Tuesday. what is the Tuesday. next day of the week, the number three? Wednesday. Okay, here you only say Wednesday. You have only two sounds, no three sounds, no Wednesday. You only say Wednesday, Wednesday. 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 Okay. Now, Ruben, after Wednesday, what is the next day? Thursday. Okay. So you say Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, and you will see right now on the screen so that you have an idea about the day, if you don't remember it. It is Thursday. Thursday, 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 Thursday. Next one, Jennifer, what is the next day of the week? Friday. Good, so you have Friday. Friday. The next day of the week, Constantino? Saturday. Okay. You say Saturday, 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 Saturday. Next one, Edwin. What is the last day of the week? Sunday. Good. Sunday. So you have Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's see the pronunciation. Number one, um, Cecilia, can you tell me the seven days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, good. Let's see. Edwin, can you tell me the seven days of the week? Yes, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. with with the. Mm, I forget the pronunciation. Oh. The pronunciation is like, but, like the one that I'm going to send right now is just pronunciation, it's not how you write it. Wednesday. Wednesday, that is a pronunciation, Wednesday. Wednesday. Next one. Thursday. Thursday. Saturday. Okay. Friday. But no, you're jump. You're skipping the days. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Constantino, the seven days of the week. Monday, Thursday, Wednesday. Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. Good, Sunday, good. Jennifer, the seven days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Thursday. Thursday. Friday, first Thursday. 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 Thir Friday, Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Good. Now, Ruben. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Thurs, Thursday, Thursday. Is not Friday. T is Thursday, 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 Thursday. 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 Okay. Next one. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, good. Next one. Um, Hugo. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Good. Next one, um, Adolfo. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. And Sunday, okay. per, sorry. Sunday, <laughs> okay. Sunday, sorry. <laughs> okay, in Spanish, ese, el miércoles, la D no se pronuncia, no se pronuncia ni la D, ni la E que está después de la N. Eso no se va a pronunciar. No se va a pronunciar la D ni la E que está después de la N. Entonces ustedes solamente dicen Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Ok, next one. Nancy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good, 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 good. Next one, Melvin. Melvin? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, Thursday, Thursday. 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 ¿Se acuerdan que les decía el sonido de la TH? Pongan la lengua en medio de los dientes sacando el aire. Thursday. Thur, 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 Thursday. 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 Good. Next one. Oscar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Sunday. Okay, Thursday. Good. Thursday. Manuel. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, Monday, Monday, Monday. Good. Next one. David, can you repeat them, please? Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, 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 Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, Thursday, Thursday. Yes, good. Then is next one. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, 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 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, say Thursday. Say Thursday. No, it's not full. El sonido que le dije que el día quisiera, de la TH. Entonces ese Thursday. sonido es Thursday. 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 
Okay, Thursday. Good. Next one, Felix. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, sorry. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good. Thursday, Thursday. Ahí no se pronuncia U. Solo se dice como Thur, 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 Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Okay. Good. Next one, Cecilia. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Good. Next one, Caesar. Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to work in small groups and you're going to complete this uh, exercise related to frequency adverbs. How are you going to do it? You're going to see every picture over here has some words that you're going to do, to, to use. For example, number one, you can see the picture and you can see that it says, my mother usually, and then what do you have? Morning, my mother usually morning. So you need to create the sentence. What is the picture? Make the bed. Okay, so you're going to say, my mother usually makes the bed. You have to use the S. Why? Because you're saying she, my mother is, she, so you have to use the yes. My mother usually makes the bed in the morning. And the same way you're going to complete number two. Number two says, I sometimes afternoon. I sometimes afternoon. And you have the picture. What is the, the, the answer? Back on the floor. Exactly. I vacuum the floor but you need the frequency. So I sometimes vacuum the floor in the afternoon. I sometimes, the action, vacuum the floor in the afternoon, in the afternoon, and like that, yes? So you're going to work in small groups and you have to complete the exercise that you have all the pictures over here all of them, all of them, all of them. So you complete them. And after you finish it, you have to upload it to Schoology. But you're going to work in, let me see how many we have right now. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so you're going to work in groups of three. Who has computer? Who's using computer right now? Raise your hand. Hugo, Constantino, Melvin, Ruben, and David. Okay, so I'm going to break out the rooms and you're going to be working in groups of three. So what you're going to do is to complete the exercises. You complete the exercises, your classmate that has the computer is going to be typing, yes? And the other ones are going to help to give the answers. At the end, when you finish, you have to upload the file to Schoology and you have to write the name of your classmates, Constantino, David, Cecilia, yes? And you upload the file. So I'm going to create the groups right now, according to- Sir, I have yes? a question. Yes? When the uh, frequency adverse is negative, uh, we always have to put the yes on the verb. Uh, I was telling them that you use the yes when you say he, she, or it. Yes, so you say yes. she, she usually works. She sometimes works. She never works. So the oh, S okay. is always there. 
but you have to remember you have to remember that when you say never you don't say don't you don't say doesn't so you will never say she doesn't never work mm -mm. you only say she never works she never studies she never drinks yes and like that thank you you're welcome any other question guys no no okay so let's see in the first group we said a person who had computer was Ruben. another person that had computer was david yes or no yes teacher okay so david has computer the other one we said was hugo hugo has computer the other one that has computer was, uh, let's see, Melvin. Melvin, do you have computer? Yes, teacher. Okay. And next person who has computer is Constantino and also Nancy. Well, so the other ones who have computers, you can also help your classmates to complete the activities. So let's see right now so in group number one Ruben Adolfo and Cecilia group number two David uh, Edwin and Felix group number three Hugo Dennis Jennifer Group number four, Melvin, Cesar, and Manuel. And in group number four, we are going to have uh, Constantino, Nancy, and Oscar. So you are going to enter right now. It is 8.10. 8.10, so at 8.35, 8.35, you have to finish it at 8.35. The maximum time is 8.35. You upload it to Schoology and you write the names of your classmates. So you're going to enter right now. Enter, enter guys. <laughs> okay guys so let's see we have four five six seven eight nine ten nine twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yes dennis is over there okay so did you all finish guys did you I all finish all of We're you finished. all yes okay so time. upload the the file to Schoology and you have to type your names. In the comments, write your names, David, uh, Nancy, and this. So you write your name. Teacher, 
Yes. I no remember. I no remember my my couple. Your classmates. Oh, my classmates. Yeah. Uh -huh. Only Felix and, and me. Edwin. Edwin. Yes, and Felix. Edwin Sosa, Felix Castellano. Okay, okay. And you. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's see what the answers were, just to make sure that you had the right answers. So I'm going to show you on the screen and you have to give me the answers. First person will be Jennifer. So number one says, my mother usually uh, makes the bed in the morning. What about the next one where you have the boy? I sometimes, uh, I sometimes bake on the floor in the afternoon okay i sometimes vacuum the floor in the afternoon next one oscar my aunt my aunt my aunt my aunt sometimes uh, sweep the floor in in the evening 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 Evening. Can you repeat it? In the evening. No, the whole sentence. My aunt sometimes sweep the floor in the evening. Sweeps the floor. My aunt, my aunt sweeps the floor. My aunt sometimes sweeps the floor in the evening. Evening in the evening okay good next one caesar next one so let me my, see my father my father never irons the clothes good my father never irons so you see yes the clothes good the clothes. next one uh manuel my neighbor, my neighbor means vecino, my neighbor. My neighbor, Manuel. My neighbor always does the washing at night. Okay. My neighbor always does the washing at night. Imagine all the noise at night when you want to sleep. That's so terrible. Next one, um, David. Okay. My Grammy. Granny. Granny, Granny. Yes. Okay, my granny usually makes dinner on Monday. On Mondays, good. So my granny is similar to say my grandmother. Yes, my grandmother or my granny, but my granny is with my more granny. love. Next one, Hugo, my cousin. My cousin always, sorry, I can't. My cousin always takes out the rubbish on Tuesday. Good, so you say takes out, takes, takes out. out. Takes out the, the rubbish on Tuesday. The rubbish on Tuesdays, okay. Next one, um, Nancy. My brother often does the furniture in the afternoon. Good. Dust with the S. Good. Next one, Cecilia. Uh, 
Lucy never sweeps the floor on on in the morning. Okay, never sweeps the floor in the morning. Good. Next one, Ruben. My uncle always sets the table on Wednesday. Good. Good, 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 good. Next one, Constantino. Andrew always does the shopping on Thursday. Good. Next one. Um, Melvin. Uh, my uncle. No. My. It is that man. That man. That man usually work the door at night. Can you repeat it? That man usually work. Walks. The dough, walk the door. Walks with the S. Walk, walks the door at night. Can you repeat it? That man usually walks the door at night. Okay, good. So that man usually walks no. the dog at night. Good. Next one. Hello. Uh, it's Andrew. Uh, hold on. My neighbor. Okay. My neighbor never is wash the windows on Friday. Wash the windows or washes? Washes the windows on Friday. Maybe washes the windows or cleans the windows. Uh, cleans the windows. Okay, good. And the last one, Dennis. My sister often, often, often uh, water the plants on, on the Sunday. On Sundays. On Sunday. Now, use the S in the verb. Use the S in the verb. Mm. My sister often uh, waters the plant. Exactly. On Sunday. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that was basically the exercise that you have for today. The most important part, guys, the most important is to use the S in the verb. Because if you're not using the verb in the, in the S and you have an evaluation, next level, if you don't know the S, you don't pass it. So in other words, the last time that you're going to see the S in the verb is here. So you have to practice it as much as possible. Now, what are we going to do to practice it? Easy. You're going to work in pairs. Listen, listen to me. You're going to work in pairs. You're going to ask your classmate questions that you had in the, in the exercise, like do the laundry, uh, clean the window, dust uh, the furniture, uh, make the bed and like that. So you're going to ask your classmate. Okay, Oscar, let's say that I'm working with Oscar. So you say, hey, Oscar, how often do you dust the furniture? And then Oscar is going to say, oh, I sometimes dust the furniture. And I'm going to write the answer. I'm going to say, Oscar sometimes dusts the furniture. So how many questions you have to write? three questions that you're going to ask your classmate, you write the answers, but you have to say, David never plays basketball. So you use the yes in the verb. So you're going to work in pairs and you're going to ask your classmate. You're going to see them on the screen right now. Well, one of you is going to be working in groups of three. Yes, so 
you would ask your classmate. Only three questions. You write the answers and in six minutes, we are going to come back and we are going to hear your answers. So you can enter right now. Enter guys. Okay. Okay, guys, time's up. So let's see information they have to give me about your classmates. So I need everyone has to give me one activity about their classmates. So let's start with Felix, who's watching TV. <laughs> The microphone, guys. What's Oscar? Okay. So, Felix, can you tell us one activity about your classmate? Say his name and the activity. Okay. Uh, three questions. Only uh, one. Only one. And one question. Only, only yeah. describe the activity. No, the answer. For example, Ruben usually takes a shower. So the person that you were working with? Okay. Uh, Cesar, uh, he always made the bed. Okay, so Cesar always... Sorry. <laughs> okay. Cesar always make the bed. Make makes the bed. The bed. The bed. Good. good, 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 good. Now, Cesar, can you tell me about Felix? Hey, Felix, uh, he sometimes does the shopping at the market. Oh, good. So if you say Felix, you don't have to say he because it is the same person. So you only say Felix. Can you repeat it? Felix, uh, Felix, Felix sometimes does the shopping. Perfect. Good. Next one, Oscar. Who's your partner? Is Adolfo. Okay, so can you tell us about Adolfo? Um, Adolfo normally drinks soda. Okay, it wasn't in the list, but he created. Okay, <laughs> now Adolfo, tell us about Oscar. Okay, Oscar normally takes out the rubbish. Takes out? Yeah, takes out the rubbish. Okay, good. Next one, Hugo, who's your partner? Uh, my parent uh, was David. Okay, so tell us about David. Okay. Uh, uh, David uh, normally cuts uh, normally cuts him hair. Okay, maybe cuts his hair. Hair, normally. Really? Okay, good. If you can do it, good. <laughs> Next one, David, tell us about Hugo. Hugo normally watch your clothes. No, Hugo normally wash, wash, washes, 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 yes, 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 washes. 
washes your clothes. No. Her, her clothes. Her clothes her. is for a girl. Ah, uh, her. His clothes. His I... clothes, because he's a guy. So, okay. his clothes. Good. Next one. Jennifer, who's your partner? His clothes. His clothes. My partner was Constantino and Edwin. Okay. okay, can you tell us about Constantino? Okay, Constantino sometimes makes the bed at night. Good, 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 good. Constantino, can you tell us about Edwin? Edwin occasionally cleans the window. Perfect. Cleans the window. Now, Edwin, can you tell us about Jennifer? Yes. Jennifer sometimes waters the plant. Perfect. Next one. Um, Cecilia, who was your partner? Manuel. Okay. Can you tell us about Manuel? Manuel normally does the shopping on Thursday. Good. Good, 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 good. Manuel, can you tell us information about Cecilia? Cecilia sometimes makes dinner. Good, sometimes. Uh huh, Cecilia. Not always, sometimes, she said. Good. Next one, Melvin, who's your partner? Nancy. Okay, tell us information about Nancy. Nancy hardly ever irons the clothes. Uh -huh, hardly ever, Nancy. No. Good. <laughs> okay. So, Nancy, can you tell us about Melvin? Melvin usually does the washing. So, he usually does the washing, but with the washing machine. Good. Next one, Ruben. Who's your partner? Dennis. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us about Dennis? Uh, Dennis never irons his clothes. Okay, so then he never irons his clothes. Okay. Now, Dennis, can you tell us about Ruben? Uh, Ruben seldom cleans his window. 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 Okay, good. So, this is the way that you express information about other people, guy. And I really need that you remember to use the S when you talk about one man or one woman because it is extremely, but extremely important that you pronounce the S. And especially on the exercises that you were completing, there were like many people forgetting the S and that is super, super important. So I need you practice it. Now it's 9 p.m. So it's time for the attendance. So I just want to see how many people came today. There were two people asking for permission, but we are going to see right now. So Dennis, Alexis Aria, say present. present. Okay, we have uh, Josue Edmundo Avalos ask for permission. Uh, Cesar Santiago Benavides. Present. Cristian Armando Cardona. Oh, Cristian had problem with the router. Cristian tenía problema con el router. Uh, Felix Ernesto Castellanos. Present. Adolfo Alberto Castro. Present. Cecilia Guadalupe Castro. Present. Um, Nancy Jasmine Claudio. Present. David Ricardo de León. Present. Uh, Rubén Elías de Paz. Present. Hugo Ernesto Fonseca. Present. Melvin Jonathan Gallardo. Present. Oscar Gomez Guevara. Present. Uh, Manuel Enrique Granados. Present. Constantino Guardado Guardado. Present. 
Well, Rene Antonio is from Insafort. Uh, Edgardo Marroquín is the guy that is really, really sick. Uh, Jennifer Carolina Quijano. Present. Jennifer? Present. And finally, Edwin Alexander Sosa. Present. Okay, so we are going to stop here, guys, and we are going to continue tomorrow. So tomorrow we have a different topic, and that topic is really, really, really important because you're going to see how to give instructions. So when you give instructions to people, so you say, come here, sit down, give me the information, and like that. So that topic is very important because you give commands or instructions. And I guess most of you use instructions at work. So that is going to be really, really useful for you. Yes. Okay. So thank you for being always there. I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.